Hello and welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminar, Session 1 The Basics, Part 9 Tagging Elements and Color Coded Legends. Okay, back into the Revit environment. Previously we added views and looked at that in the previous video. Um, in one of the previous videos we also added a level 0 detailing plan. Let's jump to that and carry on working. We're going to add some tags and some rooms to the design so um, that's why we're using a detailing view rather than the level 0 view which hasn't got detailing on it. Okay, first things first, um, I'll have a little bit of a tidy up. Um, I don't want to see this section marker on here. I think it, graphically it interferes with what we're doing. So I can right click on that and just hide in view by element. And so it doesn't vanish, it's still there on our other level zero plan it's just hidden within this view okay so let's make some changes to the layout for demonstration purposes and uh, to give you a bit of a practice at using some of the modify tools okay um, I want to create a corridor along here and we're going to tidy up and add some more rooms in here for now so we've got internal walls so a quick thing to do if we want to add more internal walls is right click on one of the internal walls and say create similar and you see we've now got a basic wall stud partition so it's, uh, it's quite a nice way of working quickly I can add in a wall there hit escape I'll do it again just for demonstration create similar now this time I want to draw your attention to using the pick lines command um, instead of adding a wall, if I want to create a corridor and that width is say 1200, 2000, I could just do that, find that edge, move down, find my 2000 and then click and then start moving across. Um, but I could also use my pick lines command, click on that and set that distance of 2000 as an offset and I get that. So you can see it's a little bit quicker. Okay. The model's looking quite messy, so let's use some of these other commands to tidy things up. The the trim and extend corners is a very useful tool. If you click on that, you click on the parts of the walls you wish to keep and you'll see if I click there and I click there, it removes the other two elements of it. So I'm clicking on the parts of the walls I want to keep. Okay. The other, the next thing I want to show you is the trim and extend tools. Now, this is trim and extend single. This is trim and extend multiple. I want to trim these two walls back to this line here. So I'll use multiple. If you read your command line, it says select a reference as a trim. That would be this wall, and then select the walls to trim. Now again you click on the wall parts you want to keep and it will remove the other sections. So that's a nice simple tool to use. One of the things I struggled with when first trying to learn Revit was if I want to remove a section of this wall I would automatically go okay I want to trim it back and I will try and do that but see I am losing that part of the wall there cancel that out so the answer to that is by using a split element you can split the element or you can split with a gap now the split with a gap is okay um, if you want to create a defined space so you can do that using split with a gap go once go twice and that's a way of removing that section of wall however I find one click is better than two clicks so I will split the element in the middle like that and then I will use my tidy up tool as I did before and you can see now I've got a gap so okay if you can get your layout to look roughly like mine and then we'll proceed from there Okay. 
Next thing we want to look at is adding in some doors. So go to the architecture tab, go to the door tool. We've got some doors in here, external double doors, internal single doors. You can load more doors in at this point by going to load family and that takes you to the um, library of items, internal doors and you've got a larger selection there. I'm just going to cancel out of that. I'm just going to use the basic single door. As you're adding doors you can see where you put your cursor will affect whether you're swinging outwards or inwards but it doesn't affect where the door is hung. So I'm going to roughly do this, go 500 from the corner, you can see that using the temporary dimension. But when I place it, notice you've got these two icons here which let you further change the design and I can flip the way the door is hung, so that's quite nice and quick. Okay, I'm going to go around and I'll do 500 from the corner of the room and make sure that the door is opening to the corners of the room. So you can see, depending on how far out you are, you will get these integers of 100 millimeter jumps. Okay, a quick little piece of um, what I, I I quite like this as a feature. That distance of door to internal corner of the room might be something that you want to maintain no matter what size or shape your building is if you need to revise it in the future. That might be a distance, say, of two concrete blocks to save the builder from having to use a large cutter cutting every concrete block. You might have a definable size between there. That size can be locked down if I lock, if I press, if I click and select the door, I get the temporary dimensions. If I press this icon here on a temporary dimension, it turns it into a permanent dimension. If I was to print this up now, that would show. It would show at a 1 to 100 scale at that size. What I can now do now, it's a permanent dimension, is select it and lock it. That means if I pull where this wall is, the door always goes with it. So that's very useful. If I want the relationship of these lines, these walls, sorry, to always be aligned, I can use my align tool. Jump to modify, use my align tool, click on this wall, click on this wall, and then lock that down. So escape, escape. If I now pull the wall around, I will get that constant um, amount, constant um, locking alignment. Okay, so that's a quick organizational tool and a quick way of um, moving around walls and aligning them and trimming them and tidying up the project.